Brought to you by Jaeger Public Adjusting, representing homeowners with fire, wind, or water damage. While the insurance company is looking out for their best interest, we're looking out for yours. When disaster strikes, call us, 609-425-1104. Good morning, everybody. We are going to be toasty today, especially away from the shore. So if you live along the parkway points west, you actually have a legitimate shot of getting to 60 degrees, and it's going to be a wonderful day Sun over to clouds. Yes, the clouds ultimately win out, but I think there's a few hours where we see at least partly sunny skies, and the more sun, the warmer the temperatures are ultimately allowed to get. Now, we are watching some rain that's going to get here. This is late tonight, and there could be some areas of thunder, I think definitely over central Pennsylvania, some severe weather possible out of this system. We've already seen it uh, down through the heart of Dixie, down through Tennessee and Kentucky, and we're expecting more through the day. Some of that could get up into the mid-Atlantic. I really don't think the potential for us in southeast Pennsylvania and South Jersey is significant, but we will keep a very close eye on it because the winds, all right, the low-level jet above our heads is whipping, in some cases, 100 miles an hour. Now, that does not mean that that comes all the way down to the surface, but it means that if the rain is heavy enough, some of these values, 70 to 80% can make it down to the surface. So I put the disclaimer there because last time we had a high wind event, I posted a map like this and people were freaking out when I clearly explained what's going on here. So at 6.30 tonight, winds above Atlantic City are about 64 miles an hour, just shy of 70 in Philadelphia. And that wouldn't be bad because you'd be looking at those 40, 45 mile an hour gusts. But later on, as the front really slides in overhead and that heavy rain potential is on the table, 97 over Atlantic City, near 90 in Philadelphia, 102 in New York City. Again, 5,000 feet above our heads. The only way 70 to 80% of this could come down to the surface is if we have rain that's heavy enough to tap into that energy. Otherwise, you're looking at 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts, all right? And I think there's maybe a three or four hour window overnight where those strongest winds are possible. This is a more realistic look at what's possible here. This is tonight, gust 30, 40 miles an hour. And then overnight, you see where those areas of red are, isolated. That's where you're going to get in on the potential for over 50 miles an hour, okay? So just want to get on the same page there. Temperatures are already toasty. Coming in at 52 in Hamilton, 52 in Tuckerton, 48 in Trenton, 47 in Media, 41 in the Courthouse, 53 in Dover. One thing I really want to make known is the fact that if you're at the beaches, you are going to be significantly colder, or I guess cooler, can't really use cold uh, today, but cooler than your mainland counterparts because the ocean water temperatures are in the 40s. So you're physically, with the direction of the wind, you're not going to get that warm, okay? So we've got cloudy skies out to the west, clouds offshore, an area of sunshine, I think, throughout New Jersey, but that sun will be lost. Front moves east. You see a squall line trying to develop over central Pennsylvania. This is late tonight, and that could pull down some of those stronger winds. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, we're probably just wrapping up with the rain. It gets out of here and we improve our sky conditions on your Friday afternoon. So today's not a washout. Tomorrow's not a washout. The wet weather we are looking at coming in is tonight, overnight. Temperatures tonight falling down through the 50s. All right, this is after midnight. That 61 tomorrow, that's not going to be enjoyable in the afternoon. That is very early on in the morning. Don't be disillusioned by the 61. Winds will be sustained at about 15 to 20 miles an hour, even tomorrow. No damaging winds tomorrow, but we are looking at uncomfortable conditions with the temperatures falling back down into the 40s. 47 on Saturday, 44 on Sunday, and then we're right back up that scale on Tuesday and Wednesday.